Konnichiwa minasan, Anton in Japan here. We're standing right now in central Tokyo, Roppongi, Japan, in front of the Swedish embassy. Huge building. And today I'll give you an exclusive tour of the ambassador to Japan from Sweden, Per Erik Högberg, his residency, before they start renovating this building at the end of this year. A lot of Scandinavian and Swedish designed furniture in there. Come on, let's go. Ambassador Takayama. Welcome. Welcome. Great to see you here. Thank so much. Thanks to you. Great what a beautiful uh, place. It is a beautiful place. I'm very excited. Great to have you here. I Thank thought so much. many people uh -huh. in the world don't really know what does an ambassador do or where does an ambassador live. So let me show you. If yes, you very excited. <laughs> Swedish residence Woo! where the ambassador lives and uh -huh. works and sleeps. And you have how many square meters? Too many. Crazy. Here is a very exciting room, uh -huh. but I will tell you about that later. This is outdoor Sweden, indoors in the middle of Tokyo. Here is the main room. Wow! Look at this. Look at this. So this is where I can gather maybe 100, 120 guests. Or smaller, of course, if you like. And the whole idea is that, of course, I live here. Mm -hmm. But it's also Sweden entertaining in Japan. So this is basically the place in Tokyo where Sweden meets Japan. So here I have ministers, politicians, business leaders, cultural personalities, and you. And you. <laughs> <laughs> Being in Sweden for some reason. It like is. it's very bright, it's very spacey. It is very spacey. This, exactly this room has its inspiration from Ulrikstad's slot. Mm -hmm. So it's like four entrances and it creates a lot of light. It's a bit tricky to furnish. That's why yeah, it's, it's like little islands of, of uh, chairs and sofas. But it also creates this, exactly as you say, the feeling of atmosphere, mm -hmm. lots of air, lots of freedom. Yes. Like Sweden. <laughs> Last year, 2022, I had 130 functions here in one day. So it's, uh, it's quite a lot of people that come and go. Mm -hmm. I want to show that welcome to Sweden in Tokyo and feel at home. And I think we have managed because the furniture and yeah. the design really represents Sweden also in different timelines. There's, uh, you know, in the 40s, 50s, uh -huh. 2000s, and right behind you there, it's, it's Svensk Tem. Svensk Tem, the Jose, sofa, right? And Josef Frank. I'm very surprised about this whole atmosphere. Not, I mean, obviously the furniture, the Scandinavian, Swedish, furniture but also about the room itself. Yeah, I say so. Sweden as you know is very much about being humble mm -hmm. and not bragging too much and not taking too much space. So it is a bit sensitive this. You want to create a grand yeah. and memory creating residence. On the other hand it cannot be over luxurious. We don't want it to be you know too much gold and marble. It should be Swedish. That's the beauty of it, like you can make it luxurious with wood. Yeah, design simple. Yeah. But, and, and, ma and materials that are pure. Yeah. So here I think this was, Japan and Sweden are quite close at heart here. Yeah, I think so too. Let me take you around. That's your boss over there? Swedish king. Swedish king. And of course an ambassador is always sent out by his majesty the king. So you are right, it's my boss. I actually had him here a while ago. And uh, I said to him, it's very nice to have my boss here. I'm very happy to hear that. <laughs> so when I have fewer guests, I like this little room. Uh, I must say, I love the wooden tables everywhere. So super bright, a lot of sunshine coming in. And with a guest or two sitting here seeing the great Okra Hotel, the cross. Uh -huh. In Sweden, looking at Okra, it's a good thing. Yeah, we're actually right in Roppongi. That's right the kind of in weirdest Rupongi. thing. That's where we are. So this is for me one of the key rooms mm -hmm. in the residence because this is Sweden is so much about output, of course. We are nature people. We want to be in the woods, outside. We don't want to feel close in, in an apartment or in a house. So here we have created outside, inside. So if you look up in the ceiling, I can, with a little press on my fingers, I can open the ceiling. Wow! So it opens up and you create the outdoor atmosphere. Put a table here. If the rain is pouring down, 
we can do so because the water goes away. The but there is a drain right here. There is a drain. And you could think about it as <clears throat> high diplomacy. Mm -hmm. Here we can have secret talks. <clears throat> secret talks, no, no one is listening. No microphones, no one can see us, but you can still be out. Here's the heart of the Congress. This is where talks are being done, friends are being created, partnerships are strengthened, business is done, deals are struck, but also a lot of wine is consumed oh, and great food is being eaten. A lot of meatballs, a lot of international food, I Japanese? I, I have a fantastic chef. Uh, he doesn't do meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> he can if I really ask him, but I think his ambition is and his passion is to combine Japan and Sweden. The table is set for five today. That we can do up to 24 people here in the long table. Well, five with a lot of space in five between. Five with a lot of space. Uh, up to 25 people. Up to 25 people. Uh, and so 25 in the long table, or 36 if we do round tables. Can I touch this? Sure. I mean, this is this is Sweden. This so is three crowns. Official table setting. So if you look at the glasses, you have the three crowns also on, on the glasses. Also on the on the cutlery, it's, the royal emblem is also there on each each of them. So And this is obviously silver. Obviously silver. So the thing is, when you are here, you should feel that you are in Sweden. And you should feel that you are something special. So let us talk Swedish. Så jag hoppas Anton att du känner dig speciell när du är här. Ja, men det gör jag verkligen. Det känns ju som... Det är inte Roppong i det här. Trots det här som är väldigt tjusigt och formellt, hur skapar man en formell stämning? Mm -hmm. Det är inte alltid helt lätt. Men då tycker jag just den här hemmakänslan som det här residenset är med mm. det. Det är inte bombastiskt och stort och liksom frånstötande, utan det är inbjudande. Det är fantastiskt. Let me also show you the outside. Yeah. Sweden meets Japan. I would love to see that. It's almost like my renovation project. Sweden meets Japan. That's true. How many square meters do you have? I have 80. You have uh, 800. 800. Why does Sweden just own thousands and thousands of square meters in the middle of Roppongi? We realize that Sweden is a country. The Fel is a mid-sized country, but we're small when it comes to population. So we are a country that realized very early, Viking time, we yeah. realized we need to go out, we need to get, curiously get inspiration bring things home and create and re-innovate our own society. This we have done for centuries and centuries. In Japan, we've been here for more than 150 years. But in order to punch above our weight, you need to be in the center of everything. And that's also one of the reasons why you could have 130 dinners. I think so, apart from the fact that I'm a charming guy. <laughs> <laughs> that's the bridge connecting Sweden to Japan. I like to see it as a symbol of that. The wooden bridge, the Japanese feel very smooth, and then a Japanese garden on the other side. Let's take a look. Oh. It's very very great when you sit there because you kind of disappear amongst all the flowers. If I sit there next to you, look at this. It's like I think people will not look at us, they will see all the flowers. So if you want to disappear, you should use one of these sofas. <laughs> oh, that's so the dan, is, danro. Danro. A danro. So you uh, it's a very smart construction. So it's, it's stones and the, ch the pipe of the chimney is going back and forth in here. And it burns for a few hours, uh, say maybe two, three, four hours. This will be very, very warm and cozy. So in cold winter days, it creates a very nice feeling. And if you leave the doors open, you also get to see the, the fireplace. I had two of these in the house I grew up in. Oh, in really? Sweden. Did yeah. you use them or? Yeah. We use them. I think one went old and then you have to maintain them, right? You have to have a suttare. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, that's comes right. Comes every second year. They come here too. They check it out because you don't want anything to go wrong. No, no, no. So this one is specially imported. Specially imported. I think it is from Gävle, and we have brought it down uh, and then reassembled it here, and also as a as a creation of little Sweden named after it. I love it. Yeah, it's very nice. One of the things an ambassador do, apart from being the representative of Sweden mm -hmm. in the country. Uh, I'm also the manager of the office, mm -hmm. and trying to help as best as I can for my colleagues to know what to do and how to prioritize. But also to do some thinking about the Swedish-Japanese relation. Where is it? And especially looking into the future. Mm -hmm. Where do we want to take it? And then you need to break from every day, rushing around life, checking your emails, reading short notes all the time. So I try to spend some time up here. Uh, actually sitting down uh, a few hours per day I try but it doesn't work right now I'm reading one of my one of my favorites Mieko Karakami she wrote breasts and eggs and, uh, and this one heaven and all the lovers in the night she's becoming a superstar internationally for me books is also like postcards very often if you take a book and then you take a look at it you can remember oh that's right I bought this here and there so I don't know, I argue with my wife sometimes, but I cannot throw away books. In that stair, I quickly, in five seconds, I come up to my own small private apartment and run up so no one knows that I disappear and I can do my do homework with my son for maybe 15 minutes. Be Chat good. to him, try to be a good father as well, and then I can run down and pretend like I was never gone. One of the toilets that happens to be the latest toilet is actually one of the favorite photography places in the residence. Insta by Trutoy Garden. And it's because of. Ah, oh, wow! The Tapetana! The tapestry. It looks like at my grandmother's place in Dalarna in Sweden. So, my dad, he bought a 200 year old farmhouse in mm -hmm. close to Örebro. Yes. And they had these very similar. It's a nice pattern, right? Yeah. But you can't really say, is it is it high fashion or is it really bought in a cheap place somewhere? Most likely extremely exclusive. Anton, it was great to have you. Thank for that to come. Mycket trevligt att ha dig här. Thank so much. I'm very forgetful over how fine you are. Beklagar sorgen att ni måste lämna. We are leaving and we are coming back. That's how I try to think of it. And this whole building will be a house of Sweden representing every aspect of the Swedish society. And thank you for joining. Uh, thanks for following Anton and thanks for following him to me. If you have any questions of what we talked about or what you saw or perhaps what we didn't say at all, don't hesitate. We will do our best, Anton has promised. If there's anything you want to know about, ask me. I promise I will try to answer it. Karriere Kjörberg, Swedish Ambassador to the 